presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Oh, look who oh. we have. It's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taken by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 34, NASDAQ up 57, SPs down 2, gold contract down a buck. Trading 17.35 an ounce. Silver up five cents, seventeen dollars seventy-one cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off forty-two cents, thirty-seven dollars ninety-seven cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. We have the uh, ten-year right now up four ticks, trading one thirty-eight eighteen. The thirty-year up fourteen or half a point at one seventy-six oh four. And King dollar, King dollar is up one hundred ninety-seven ticks, trading ninety-seven one fifty-four. The euro is at one twelve. The yen is out here at one oh seven, and the British pounds at one twenty-five to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You have a sideways market out here, folks. You get tremendously light volume. If we take a look at the futures first, what you're going to see in the S&P futures, bottom line, we've had a uh, spread out here today, um, 3107. Well, this gets interesting, man. We were at 31.57 last night. So, I mean, at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning, yeah, 4 o'clock in the morning, you had some action up here. Since we've opened, however, the spread has been tremendously uh, less, meaning 31.40 to 31.07. Um, we'll see what, how this baby shakes out coming into the close. Uh, you know, bottom line, with this type of volume and you get a sideways move uh, and you're in the summer, all of the above, uh, I don't think we're going to have that much action. NDX 100. Now, the NDX, we got the, the free queues got to 245.50 today. 244.51 is, 244.51 is the lows of the high. Um, bottom line, we'll see whether we close underneath it. It would be so wild if you actually do close underneath it, folks. The reason I'm saying that would be that would be really subtle. And that would be a test of the low of the high, you're not going to get the volume, 58 million. We're not going to get 20 million coming into the close. So if you got that and then you closed under it, that would be saying, okay, you get another failure. That being said, you know, this, this good old NDX looks to me, you're coming into option expiration Friday. Uh, why not whack the top of it? But, hey, we'll see where this shakes out coming into the close. IWM, small caps, small caps out here. That's trading down 189. And you're pulling back with light volume. So the small caps, the way this is set up, is saying to me that it's not done. Uh, you know, small caps yesterday uh, got into the, the gap from last week. Um, got into it with some decent volume, too, by the way. Um, that is saying that, guess what, that baby can get tested once again. Let's go take a look at the silver market now. Silver out here, trading up $0.05, cents, $17.71 an ounce. And that's going to need more juice. You know, we only get 41,000 contracts traded. It's not a lot of contract volume. 
Uh, you're going to need a lot more, you know, silver's in the, in the higher range. There's no two ways about that. But that's going to need a lot more volume in order to sustain and get to higher price. We take a look at the gold contract. I like what the gold contract's done out here. Well, what the gold contract has done, folks, is this. We got a rejection of lower price on Monday. Had lighter volume. You get another rejection out here today. You're going to have lighter volume again. And the gold contract itself, you know, you're in a higher range here. And the gold contract is, is in a confirmed ABC structure on the way up with a price projection of 1821 to 1825. Now, that has been in place since April 7th. This is, a, this is a long, complex ABC. There's no two ways about that. And let's go over to the dollar. So we take a look at the dollar out here. What you do have with the dollar index is this. Last week, the dollar got down to the highs of the lows of March. Rejected it. You, get, you had a couple days of strength. We've had four days of sideways movement. If we get open, we first take a look at the euro because the correlation is 60% on the euro. Euro out here, sideways the last few days. It saved itself today. You know, the, the euro got down to 112.07 today and it's at 112.31. Anything above the 112, last swing, one, one, anything above the 112.13 saying it can go higher. British pound, different ball game though. We take a look at the British pound. British pound right now trading at 125.40. And the way that baby is set up is that it does, it does look like, number one, you're in the lower range. You know, it, the pound had broken out. It got all the way up to the 128.13. Right now you're at 125. So this, this pound can get down into the 124. And, you know, well, well, we'll stick with 124 at this particular point. The yen, we go take a look at the yen. If you're in the metals market, you want to really pay attention to the yen. Now, the yen and the, the yen is trading 107. The yen is looking to get down to 106, maybe to 105 area. That is really bullish for the metals market. So it's going to get interesting here is to see the correlation between the yen getting into lower price and what exactly uh, will get done with the good old U.S. dollar. Some of the higher volume equities out here today. Oh, one of the big ones. This is going to be so sad, folks. So Hertz, uh, HTZ, HTZ, they, the, they, held, they held Hertz earlier today. Trading is halted. About time the SEC come in. The SEC is supposed to protect investors, folks. The bottom line, the SEC um, come over to Hertz and say, listen, um, the... They're facing questions about plans to sell as much as $500 million of worthless stock. So what I expect you're going to see out here in Hertz, sad but true, uh, they, they, their last trade, uh, I believe, was at, what, $1.95, $1.94. Don't be surprised if you see this opens at uh, $0.25 cents or something. This will this will be the death kill uh, inside Hertz. And if it's not, it's going to be really bizarre. But... <laughs> well, maybe they'll buy it at 25 cents. Bottom line is that uh, there's a lot of people that are trapped like rats right now. And when that does open back up, um, guess what? The SEC, that, when they're concerned about it, folks, they're not, not going to let them push out worthless paper. That's my take on it. Dow, Dow down 73. NASDAQ up 45. S&P's down 5.5. We'll come right back. Folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! 
The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 58. Nasdaq's up 47. S&Ps are up 5. Let's go to uh, Austin in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, Austin, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How's it going, man? Going great, man. Yourself? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Good. So, what um, are we going to look at? SeaWorld, uh, S-E-A-S. Let's take a look at it. We get SeaWorld. The low out here is 675. That was established March 19th. The high is 3696. Okay, so what are we doing here? I'm trying to buy. Okay. What's intriguing here is that this is a good setup, man. So this is really intriguing where, you know, like the airlines, folks, to me, they're not good setups, meaning the, 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 the cruise lines aren't good setups, but this is a decent setup. Um, and, in fact, what you have here, Austin, is you have a complex ABC structure on the way up to about 25 bucks. So wow. what, we, what, you did, what we did here, folks, is this, is that, the leg, the A to B leg on this, the A is 1150, which is on the 14th. The B is at 2050. So we got what, nine bucks. Uh, your C is uh, 1723, which is what, 2623. And you popped up nice to 2323. You had volume there of 4.8 million. You pulled back with 3.2. Today it's pulling back with nothing. Um, if you're going to give it a shot, man, I'd give it a shot. You know, you put the, put the stop under, you probably have to give it a couple bucks, man. I mean, yeah, you, you have to almost put the stop under 1550. Okay. And you're cool. gunning, you're gunning for two different things. You're gunning, of course, with a 23-23, and it's an ABC up to 25. So this, get, this gets interesting, folks, because we know that, you know, these places, I don't even believe SeaWorld's open yet, right? Is it? Do we know? Um, it opened on June 11th, but it's only like 30% capacity. Okay, okay. And SeaWorld themselves, folks, have had a, a huge problem, but they got rid of most of it because the orcas, they retired, you know, so they were getting a huge bad name for that. Um, and, you know, you can see uh, a sea world because everyone's outside dramatically versus uh, these other places where you, you are inside. You know, there's, there's something here, man. I think you're, you're onto something here, man. Okay, cool. Thanks, thanks for taking my call, man. Okay, we appreciate it. Hey, how long have you been listening to us? Um, about, like, a couple months, ever since, like, the uh, pandemic started, like, happening, I guess. And how did you find us? Um, well, I actually used to live in, like, St. Petersburg. Did you? Um, we, moved, we moved to Tennessee about, like, 10 or 12 years ago. Okay. So. 
Well, that's a beautiful thing. We appreciate you growling a problem with us out here, Austin. Yeah. Thanks, man. It's been nice. I appreciate right, it. Thanks. Yeah. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. You can hear, hear that nice, strong, young voice, folks. You gotta love that, man. It's a beautiful thing. That's a tiger getting out behind the weeds, man. Got, gotta love it. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. You got, uh, well, here, I'll show, show you a difference, man. Let me show you this, okay? Because I was surprised when, when the, I actually pulled up uh, SeaWorld and it looks so good. So watch we pull up Norwegian Cruise Lines, okay? So the differential in this is that you pull this baby up and it's like, okay, you know, did we, well, this is actually, this is interesting too. It, it doesn't have a high volume high, but actually this is pretty wild too. Here, let me just look at this because this is almost an ABC up. That could be, let's see, maybe I already finished one. 17, 18, nine bucks, eight, that's interesting. Okay, so some of these we're gonna. Some of these you gotta actually want to start looking at because what what is happening? Even this setup here, I wouldn't be buying this right now. But guess what? You already did. It, you you finished one ABC up, and it actually did an ABC up. So there's gonna be life after death for a few of these because if Norwegian Cruise Line is it's not set up to buy right now, but what does happen is this: when you're in any market, folks, that you actually start seeing. ABC structures on the way up or on the way down. You want to pay attention to them because let's say out of the course of 12 months, you can get an ABC market about five months. That's how it kind of straight, you know, and that's going to be ABC up or down. And when they come in, you can make hay very quickly. Um, so really pay attention to it. If you haven't got my book yet, check it out on Amazon, The Art of Time in the Trade. Let's go to Dan in Indianapolis. Hey, Dan, what's going on? Hey, how you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing awesome. Cool, uh, man. Uh, listen, I just had a, uh, I had a, I had two questions about Great Panther. I, uh, could you tell me what, uh, how their finances look, and could you give me a, uh, an exit, an exit uh, point? Okay, so let's let's take a look. You got Great Panther. The, that's this is a silver mining company, folks. The low is twenty two cents. The high is ninety eight cents. Um. You know, this has been a tough one, man. Uh, bottom line is that, you know, do I think this can spike up to 62 cents again? Yeah. And that's where, you know, I, I think you should hang tight until that particular point. Um, you're, at, you're at 42. Finance-wise, what they did, this is where this is, you know, they basically got diluted again because they pushed out more paper. And that was a couple months ago, I believe, okay? Um, let me see here. They pushed out 16.1. Yeah, I think I think they did it when they spiked up to 60 cents. Well, I that's, believe that's about that's, when they that's, did it. That's good. That's good for you, <laughs> um, because you didn't buy it at that, right? You bought it er, cheaper, right? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not, Tom. I've been stuck in this one for a while, and I just want to cut my losses. I see. Okay. Okay. So what? This is going to be a waiting game for you, then, man. That's that's where this is going. Um, you know, the, the, the first, I mean, it's consolidated now. When it, when it had that spike up, it was a good spike. There's no two ways about that. And I'd hang right there, man. I'd wait. That, that'll get tested. That 62 cents will get tested. It should get tested. Because you can see it even in, in the aspect of how this is shaking out. Um, yeah, on, the, on the weekly, it's, set, it's nice. I mean, you're, you're coming into, you got a downdraft. So first, we got the spike higher. That was the week of the 17th of April. Then you get two downdrafts, which were monster volume. Now watch this. You had volume of 26 million folks on the week of the 15th of May. You had 27 million in the week of the 22nd. I believe that's where they were pushing all the paper out, I think. Then what you did is that you tested that area with 13, and that's what you needed. You needed a test of those lows. You got the test of the low. Now you just get a sideways movement, man. So I would basically sit there and wait. Okay, can I ask if, uh, is their price reflective more of their uh, cost structure, or does it have to do more with their solvency? It's the cost structure, not the solvency. Okay. It's not going to be a solvency okay. issue. It's a, it's a cost structure as to what it's costing them to get silver out of the ground. Yes, 
Right. That's a huge do, question, do you know, though. That's a huge. Do you know what they're? Uh, do, you, do you know about what they're? Uh, I guess they're uh, what, what price of uh, silver they need to uh, be profitable. I don't, but I will look. I will look that up for you. You know, right now silver's okay. running out at seventeen seventy. The last time I looked, some of a couple of their mines were actually. You know, we're, we're, we're pushing sixteen seventy something like that, and we're at only at seventeen seventy. That's that's what's going on too. Do you know what I mean? So, all right, cooking, brother. Okay, all right, man. Have a good day. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials, right now, where are we? Dow is uh, down uh, one thirty six. Nasdaq is uh, up eighteen. S and P's are up thirteen and a half. We'll come right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN has developed a daily programming lineup for traders by traders. We start every trading day live at 8.30 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien hosting the morning market kickoff as he starts the day off by breaking down everything you need to know about what's going on for the trading day ahead. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento takes your calls and questions live on the air for the opening bell as he hosts Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the Bull Bear Trading Hour. At 11 a.m., it's Kevin Hanks and Alex Coffey from TD Ameri Trade Network with Fast Market, Basil Chapman at noon with the Tiger Technicians Hour, Steve Rhodes hosts the Trader's Edge at 1 p.m., Dave White with the Power Trading Hour at 2 p.m., and Tom O'Brien closes out the day for the final hour of trading live from 3 till 4. Don't miss a second of our daily programming lineup. Tune in to Tiger TV every trading day live at TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow on 163. NASDAQ is up 8. S&Ps are up 16. You're going to love this, folks. This is like the ultimate. Hertz opened back up. And guess what, folks? It opened higher. Okay? So Hertz came out. Hertz came out. The SEC came in. Hertz came out and says, okay, they're going to suspend the plan to sell worthless stock. Okay? Uh, let me tell you something, folks. I think that we all need a new school for stock trading. <laughs> 
<laughs> no doubt, okay? Because this is the most bizarre thing that I've ever seen. But it is what it is. That's the bottom line. It is what it is. You know, it's they're trading vehicles. You know, bottom line is that I might, we might as well get some dice out here. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Mark. Yeah, one of the targets that we have was called TFNN. Well, I would I would love to be able to educate every all the tigers and tigresses out here today how this one works. Because <laughs> guess what? I don't have a freaking clue. This is like a this is like so over the top it's unbelievable. But hey, we'll watch how this plays out. That that's the that's the real bottom line. It's that, anyway, to make a long story short, it's up 21 cents. I'm glad it's up. I mean, that that's the reality because um, you know, we know how many traders are out there that have bought into this deal and you know, maybe they uh, just at least um, you know, were worried for a bit. And maybe some of them will take their money. Yeah, you talk about a two-dollar head scratcher. Yeah, we got a two-dollar head scratcher in a, in a huge way on this one. There's no, there's no doubt about it. I, you know, hey, listen, a, a few of these, I suspect, you know, they have like these big funds, folks. What they do is that they raise money, and they they call them the blank check IPOs. And a blank check IPO basically is saying, okay, you can trust me. I'm a big fund. I know what I'm doing. You're going to give me money, and then I'm going to figure out what to do with it. Um, well, I suspect that at, at some point someone's going to start saying that, hey, all I got to do is get some kind of a sm small equity. I got to get the Robin Hood traders on it, and then it's all over. Um, I suspect it's only going to be a matter of time, okay, that they're going to get on these small silver and gold stocks. <laughs> it's just a matter of time, I know it is. Because if I, if I fall back into the aspect of what can move quickly, uh, what seems to happen, folks, is that you go through sectors, then what ends up happening yeah, is that they find out, okay, what can start moving? And the things that can start moving, of course, is that when you have less shares inside of the floats. And a, and a lot of these, uh, you know, we get a lot of the gold and silver companies that have higher numbers, but there's a lot of them with very low numbers. That's, uh, this is just about as wild as you can get. I gotta look at it one more time because uh, it's, it's trading right where it was trading. I mean, it had closed, I believe it closed out at like uh, 235. It, I started at 230, you know, went under, you know, two bucks. And right now you're at uh, 203, anyway. Let's go take a look at the uh, the big dogs in the marketplace out here. Amazon. We take a look at Amazon. Amazon's almost right next to its highs, up 23 bucks, trading out at uh, 26.38. At 27.72 uh, is the high out here. We go take a look at uh, what keeps. Oh, of course, Apple. How do I? How did I not get Apple? Uh, Apple. Apple out here. Oh, new high. Here we go. That that reached a new high. 355.40 today. That just overtook the high. Yeah, there she did. She did. She overtook the high. Microsoft, we take a look at Microsoft. Microsoft's right next to its high. That high out there is at 198.52. So what I expect we're going to see out here is that more than likely uh, on Friday, you get Hertz, I mean, you get Hertz, you get uh, option expiration. Uh, I expect what you're going to see is uh, lots of action uh, in option expiration. Some of the other higher volume equities out here, and this is a low volume market out here. Macy's is down 42 cents, starts trading 720. Uh, you get Wells Fargo off a buck. Oracle's down two, it's down 5%. That's got some juice behind it. Royal Caribbean's off four, that makes sense. Uh, United's off a buck, no big deal there. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness there. You get Biomarland is up four and a half percent. It's Modera, so check this out. Uh, this equity here, uh, these insiders are making a fortune, folks, okay? Uh, bottom line, this equity has gone from $11.54 up to $87. It's trading at $63.21. And you have the insiders, uh, even though the lockup is uh, on June 18th, they've been able to push out some big numbers. Uh, the bottom line is that uh, in May, they had a $1.3 billion uh, sale, um, a big, huge cash sale. Uh, and then what they did is that 
A handful of companies' executives have already taken advantage of another way to sell. It's the 10B5-1 trading plan. Uh, that plan lets insiders trade their shares at predetermined times or prices. These types of arrangements have faced scrutiny in the past over the potential to aid executives in getting around insider trading laws. It's not clear if the shares recently sold the subject to the lockout. Chief Executive Officer uh, Stephen Bansell has sold uh, 293 a uh, thousand shares since the beginning of the year. He still holds a 1.9% direct uh, stake valued at 460 million. The president has sold 11,000 shares. Uh, he still has just uh, slightly less than 1% worth 127 million. The chief medical officer has sold off his entire equity stake May 5th and has been exercising options since then. Here, I got to pull this up. This is, we got we to see what this looks like. This is something else, man. Let me see this. Whoops, close that. PHDC. Yeah, it'll take a little bit too much time. Let's go take a look at Nike. Nike, uh, they're coming out with their earnings next Thursday. They're trading 99.42 right now. The high is January 22nd at 105. So, well, last time we were up here, some volume. I mean, it looks like it wants to test 104. It doesn't, it doesn't have to do, uh, 105.62 is the high. This is not that bad a setup, man. Yeah, I, I might, I mean, if you're going to go, if you're going to go in the option market, I'd, let me just put this close, let me put this on a daily for a second. So on a daily, yeah, I can go up and test the high. And the question is, that, you know, um, the type of damage that it did coming down. On Monday, it actually got below the low of last Thursday. Had lighter volume, so that's good. Didn't have much volume yesterday and today. But on the weekly, it looks like it's going to test that area, man. So on the weekly, it doesn't, you know, it looks like it, it does it. The thing that's intriguing there is that it missed the highs by a point. It doesn't look like it has to go to the high, but it does look like that it wants to go test that area. So um, they always seem to pull through, too. Dow, Dow right now down 150, NASDAQ up 19, S&P's up 13. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. 
Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Uh, we have uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down uh, 170. Nasdaq's up 13. S&Ps are up 15 and a half. Let's go to Ray in Sarasota. Hey, Ray, what's going on? Hey, how you doing today? I'm doing well. I hope you are also. Yes, sir. I am. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in your opinion on uh, Nova Resources, NSRPF. I currently have a, p a position... And uh, I'm thinking it's on its way to three dollars. What do you think? Okay, so let's take a look. So the lows a buck, the highs three oh seven. This is an exploration company. Looks like okay. And South Central British Columbia, right? So yeah, it's uh, it's got like uh, nine thousand square kilometers of land in Australia, and it's. Uh, Got uh, mineral rights, gold rights on. In Australia. Okay, even let's say in British Columbia. So, well, it's based in British Columbia, I believe. Okay, so I get, yeah, first off, I'll tell you what I, what I like about it. I just looked up the ownership. So the, the ownership inside of this, folks, okay, as you got Kirkland Gold is the biggest owner, and Kirkland knows what they're doing, okay? So they own 15.85% of it. That being said... You see how it's a five-letter ray that you gave me, yes. NSRPF. What the right. F, what the F stands for, right? Is that uh, the bottom line is that they have uh, they're delinquent in something, and I don't, I, I can't do it fast enough to find out what they're delinquent in. You, you don't get five letters. You see what I'm saying? So uh, they have no debt and about sixty million in cash, though. Well, that doesn't matter because okay. My, my point is, is this: when you're a public company, right? Picture something. You're a public company. There's filings that you have to get made, right? Okay. And this doesn't happen overnight. Let's say that you and I had a public company, and this normally happens that it takes like seven months, eight months, maybe a year to add a fifth letter onto the company. So there's something inside here that's not cool. <laughs> mm. That's important. Right. To, it's important to know. I'd call, I'd call up Investor Relations and ask them, hey, wh what are you delinquent on? All right. Yeah. Um, you know, that being said, if we take a look at it, you know, technically the way this thing is set up, you know, yeah, can it get up to... You know, the, the 298, the 307 yard can... But I'd find out, you know, what the delinquency is inside of this, for sure. 
Particularly, All right. Yeah, because particularly when you got an exploration company, um, you know, it's a big deal. And no, the F does not mean that it's a Canadian company. One of the Tigers are right. telling me it's, 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 it doesn't mean that. Go pull, pull up the NASDAQ thing. I just pulled it up. They're, they're delinquent on something. You, you don't have an F just because you're a Canadian company. So. Okay. You have time for one more? Sure. Yamana Gold, AUI? AUI. AUI, right? Yamana. So you get, you get Yamana. Yamana, the low is $2. The high is 5 um, You're trading 4 68 Should be at four ninety so something. Yeah, it's, no, it's four eighty seven. Yeah, no, this is this is a decent setup. This is a decent setup for sure. Um, yeah, this can this can run to that five sixty five. You know, it may may okay. run a lot higher. Hey, just stay with me for a second because the what's going on is that the the tigers in the den are telling me flat out that uh, the bottom line is that yeah when you do do have a pink sheet that can be in there and, and they're probably right so between tapoon and sailfish they're probably right um, what do, what does happen when you pull it when I pull it let me just see some n s r f no. r p f r p f no, no. I'm, I'm with you Oh, resources. This is probably the pink sheets, but see, the pink sheets aren't bad. That doesn't mean that something's wrong with it because they, you know, there's a, there's a couple months. Yeah, so this is over the counter pink sheets. Yeah, this is over the counter pink sheets. So maybe that's what the F is. Um, yeah, I, I can see how that, you know, when you pull it on NASDAQ, when it says F, it says it, they are telling you that's something that's delinquent. But when I do pull this over, the primary change is the uh, over the counter. So F probably is it, which. Tigers and tigresses, they're, they're, they, may, they may be right. I'd find out, though. It's worth finding out, man. That's, that, you know, I wish I had a more definitive answer for you, but I have the F just maybe that it's a, it's a pink sheet. And if that's it, that's, no, that's not a big deal. Right. And their, their, their market cap is about a half a billion dollars right now, too. It's a big so market cap, but to, to me what happens is that you can have these Canadian stocks run from fifty cents to three dollars pretty easy. Um, you know, they still have no production, right? And that's that's a big deal, right? I mean, yep. yeah, yeah. Th doesn't mean you can't go higher, but the same this, the same point. Uh, you know, as long as you know you're in an exploration stock, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, right. as I said earlier, I, I, Kirk Kirkland. Well, I, Kirkland Gold, who, who is the largest owner of that, right, is a very smart oh. operator. It, you know, doesn't mean that everything that they're into will be good, but they they have brought well here yeah, they they have brought um, other gold mines that started with nothing. They brought them up pretty dramatically. So you know, cooking, brother. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Tom. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Let's go take a look at the uh, S&Ps as we get into this close out here. Uh, these things are trying to, it's, it's so intriguing, folks. You know, we've had a flat market out here. And what's sticking out like a sore thumb, man, is the lows that were established out here yesterday. Uh, of course, the, the S&P flew right back topside uh, in a huge way. Uh, so, Right now, what we actually just did is that we actually, we went down to 3106, and we rejected it. Uh, anything under 3108 gets really dangerous. Well, it's only 10 minutes left. I think that was the last uh, downdraft. Well, what, is, what is dangerous out here? Uh, that being said, though, folks, uh, is the lows that were established yesterday, which is a 3,072. Um, you know, they bang this thing again. They get 25 minutes to basically get it down there. You know, we get... 10 minutes, uh, 11 minutes into the four o'clock hour for the broad market. Uh, but if you do get, if you get a couple of big sellers out here, they haven't been able to really push the market anywhere today except sideways. So we'll see uh, in these uh, few few minutes out here because I can I suspect after the type of volatility that we had, and what also happens in a sideways market here, it gets a little bit dangerous if you get a fluctuation either really fast high or fast low, because 
you know, most times people have been trading that little range, and the range out here today have, has been very tight. Uh, gold, gold's picking its head up right now. Uh, what, you, what you have out here in the gold market is that uh, you, you're up a buck ninety. Now that's not much in the context of where you are, but it is a lot in the context of where we were. We just went from 1717 low to 1738 high. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Closing this market up for uh, today. Go down, down 175. Nasdaq up 12. S and P's up 16. We'll come right back. Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Bam! With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionics, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow uh, off 138, NASDAQ uh, up 25, S&P's down 13. For the type of market that we're having, folks, uh, <laughs> This is a sideways market. That's the real bottom line. You get a sideways market. Uh, you have light volume. You're coming into uh, option expiration Friday. I do expect you to have more volatility out here, no doubt. Uh, bottom line, though, uh, today, sideways. Let's go over to Hertz quickly and see what's going on with Hertz. So Hertz, uh, 
When they had closed the stock, it was trading at 235. It opened at 220, went to 235. Right now, you're at 191. So the bottom line is that uh, there's no uh, real destruction uh, there uh, in the context that now they're not going to be able to push out another 500 million uh, in, ec in worthless equity. <laughs> that's, the real, that's the real bottom line. Uh, that would have... Uh, uh, what blows my mind, the next thing the SEC really has to do, I'd say, is that, uh, I guess, the, you know, when equities are bankrupt, you know, the bottom line, you've got to have stop them trading, right, until it's going out. Because what folks don't understand is that you're, gonna, you're still trading in the, in the equity market. You know, it's like, okay, if you're trading, there must be something that's okay, right? You know, I, I suspect that the way to do this, you, you just, you're bankrupt, you stop trading inside them, and then you go from there. I, I suspect... Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure why, why they let it keep trading. I guess uh, so there'll be a miracle at some particular point. Um, you know, we'll see how that shakes out. The Inside the indices, volume out here, uh, really going to be really low today. We're only at 632 million inside the NYSE. That means it's only going to do maybe 900 million to a billion, and we've been doing 1.3 to 1.4 billion. Inside the composite, we're at 3.8, so the composite will still do about uh, 3.4, 3.5. Uh, the composite is still the monster out here. There's no, there's no doubt about it. You get 48 hours until option expiration as one of, uh, you know, so you're going you're gonna to get some action here, man. White lightning uh, may be on the agenda. Uh, come in into option expiration here. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it, folks. Everything you need is right inside you. You might as well have a blast with it. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning, 8.30. Tommy kicks us off. Great show. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Tell them to go to YouTube. Go to TFNN. Subscribe. Subscribe.